This is John Staples. We're restoring a Collins 10B transmitter here and we're going to get some RF out of it. The oscillator is over on the right, a buffer in the middle, and an amplifier on the left hand side. Here's the schematic. It's really quite simple. This transmitter dates back into the early 30s. In the setup, we've put several meters on the transmitter to measure the current at various places. Here's the transmitter itself. And then over to the left, we have some more meters to measure the voltages at a couple of places and the power out. We've put the transmitter up on its side to get into it a little bit easier. Here at the bottom is the crystal oscillator. You can see the filament transformer there on the left. We go up past the buffer and then at the top is the final amplifier. Over to the left is the variac that I used to set the filament voltage. The uh, next two meters are the plate voltage and the filament voltage. These are two and a half volt filaments and then the RF watt meter. And over on the right hand side we have four more meters. The first two are the grid current to the final amplifier and the plate current. And the other two meters are the current for the buffer and the plate current for the oscillator. You can see here is the RF output. It's mainly 3.8 megahertz, but you can see a little bit of 1.9 megahertz coming through. Well, we're going to set up here and run it for a while with uh, power. See here, we're running about 21 watts into the into the dummy load. <coughs> Got 300 volts on the final, and here's the dummy load that we use. But just for fun, instead of the dummy load, let's put a uh, light bulb on. This is kind of traditional. This is a small light bulb on a little 50 ohm dummy load. We'll be careful not to burn it out, so we won't go quite up to full power here. We're going to go through and tune each one of the three coils. A couple of the coils had to be rewound to bring them to frequency. We use a grid dipper, and here on the oscillator coil, we're tuning the oscillator coil up to 1.9 megahertz, and move over to the buffer, retune the grid dipper to 3.8 megahertz, and we see a dip there at 3.8 megahertz. And then we go over to the final amplifier and see that that also dips at 3.8 megahertz. Here's the final amplifier. It's a set of parallel 46s and we're going to turn the filaments on. They don't glow very bright here. These are fairly low temperature filaments. But let's switch over to infrared mode on the camera. And here we can really see the filaments light up. Here again is the configuration, the test setup. And finally a few still photographs of the transmitter.